Hey guys, back for another fishing adventure. Kelsey and I are heading down to the James River today. We're gonna go pull up a little piece of bay. It's not really a bay, it's just a widening of the river, but it looks like a bay, and it's awful muddy, and it's awful sticky. Last week when we were out there, we saw about 40 carp spawning out there, and that's what we're targeting. So I just got done at Walmart, picked up the stuff we need for making bait, and then I'm gonna go and pick up Kelsey, and we're gonna head out to the river. Got some dough today. We'll see if that makes any kind of a difference. We've been just using pack bait, so hopefully we catch and I will catch you guys down at the river. Stick it wherever you want to stick it. I'm going to put one down here. Bullhead. I'm gonna put this in my pocket. It's not working out well. All right, you gonna hold still for me, or do I need to go get my fish grips? Oh, you barely had him. All right. Got us a fish. All right, let's let him go. There he goes. You still see his ripple. <laughs> you still got your worm too, that's a good thing. Well, that's a good sign. That's a lot earlier than we've been getting them. That's a fish, I think, Kelsey. Does it feel like anything's there? I'm pretty sure that was a fish tug. It's just a matter of if we hooked up or not. Does it feel like we got anything? I bet the dough's gone though. Don't, don't hang out with Callie, you'll have a muddy good time. Oh, that's good. Oh, what did it let go? Just give it a second. Another little baby bullhead. <laughs> Got him good. That is the tiniest little thing. Might have been on there for a while. I was watching my bobber swinging around. <laughs> well, that's I was watching it and I couldn't tell, like, you know what I mean? Like, it looked like there was something playing with it but I couldn't tell.
got the... This one's a big one. There's another carp right there. Just have you take that, just hold pressure on it. in the line a little bit. That's a behemoth. <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead and in the rod holder. Because that way, if he flips and makes it back into the water, it's still in the rod holder. I don't know how I managed to not bring your line in with. You got the other line. The other line is broken. <laughs> the last one, I don't know. Because that pole started moving. And you said you caught my other line. You caught that line first. Okay, beast. Okay, beast. I get it. You're a big, mighty fish. Okay. Stay put. Stay put. I need to get myself some waterproof gloves. These things are soaked. Get it, you're a big mighty fish. All right. All right. I don't know how I'm gonna get away on you, but I'm guessing you're about 12. Did he get you? He got me. <laughs> Yep. Oh shit, 13. 13.3. That's the biggest one I've caught down here. I knew he was big. Okay. Let's get you dumped out of the net. And then we're gonna get you back in the water. Okay. I know, you wanna go. I promise you're gonna. You just gotta let me get you in the water. carp catch. Everything is so muddy. <laughs> My gloves are soaked and muddy. You still got worm on there? Okay, and you said that other line snapped? Thinking we might just reel that one up and leave it. I don't feel like rebaiting it right now. Well, <laughs> I am covered in mud. Got mud on my knife handle. I'm so confused. All the, all the rods started moving at once. <laughs> he instantly swam straight into all of those other two lines. 
and he managed to go underneath the first one and I think he went over the second one. Yeah. You want to come fight this? You want to come fight this? Oh, don't go towards that stump. Don't go towards that stump. Where, where are you going? Go. Where are you going? Yeah, come this way. Come back this way. There you go. Stay away from the stump. Stay away from the stump. the line. I can't tell where he's at. Okay, there he is. Okay. Trying to keep him out of your line and away from the stump. We're good. Perfectly right in the corner of the mouth like it should be. <laughs> Get it in the face. Turn your head again. Yeah, you got it all over your face and neck. sucked bramble in the glove. Okay. You're a lot smaller than the other one's head. Oh, that just ripped right through his mouth. Put like in one hand, this one nine point seven. All right. Got it? Alright. Make sure you got enough space here. Got it? Yes. Bye. Oh, 
Okay. Pretty sure this is a bullhead. Yeah, I just went to adjust it and there was a fish on it. Oh, I just scared a carp. Oh yeah, it's a decent bullhead. Biggest one of the day. Come on, come on, cooperate. I don't want to get stabbed. Can't tell how you're hooked. Okay, there we go. There we go. No, you don't get the worm. All right. Back in you go. Rehook this guy. Got something playing with mine. There it goes. Got a little fish. Got a little fish. Holy, not a little fish. Got a barely decent. Oh, you son of a bitch, you just snapped my leader off. Yeah, I got it. Well, what do you think? Call that good? Since I've got two poles that I'd have to re-rake? Well, as you can see, I'm no longer at the river. We finished up for the day. It was a good day. We've been out a few times already this year, and we've caught one, maybe two fish each time we've been out. But one time we didn't catch any. So, it was nice. We caught seven fish today. We caught four bullheads and three carp. Not bad. We got a 10 pound carp, a 13 pound carp, and a nine pound carp. Pretty decent for a quick little four hour fishing trip. Just got done at Walmart. Now I'm on my way home. Gonna take a shower and get cleaned up. Those carp love to fling mud when you get them in the shallows. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.